And I really appreciate you coming here to listen and watch these videos is very very encouraging god bless you as you tune in now today in this episode i want to talk about some things that cannot happen in africa <laughs> yeah so surely there are some things that cannot happen in africa like uh, you find uh, a scenario and today i just want to talk about this thing in a deep way uh, because it's so much mature to, to 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 see a woman that had divorced to another man come out in public in fact full of the glare so of media I've cameras done. and uh, media whichever media social media and church anyway. media institutional media and definitely if those medias you, are there you me. will definitely understand that the mainstream medias have access to such information just the way we accessed it now vicky winams vicky winams is a is a, a citizen of uh, united states is an ex now ex-wife of one pastor called Marvin Wynams, and they are all residing in the United States of America. Now, one of the things I don't know what happens or inspired or aspired. Let's, it's English, you know, <laughs> English thing uh, is kind of taking root. Now, uh, it was I don't know what aspired for Marvin Wynams to call the ex-wife that they had separated 20 years ago to come to the church he's pastoring and give a testimony. Definitely that ex-wife Vicky Wynams innocently came out emotionally apologizing to the husband. So far it was very very touching to me that maturity of highest level. Praise the Lord everybody. It's so good to be here tonight. Um, I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to try not to cry. I'm not going to be long, but I'm going to try not to cry. My emotions, I was just telling Cindy, my emotions is just all over the place. I mean, this is so, so beautiful and so rich. And it's just such a blessing to be here in the land of the living to see this great celebration. Giving honor to God who is my life. I love the Lord, and I do. I really do. And I just want to say, first of all, um, I guess everybody know by now I was his wife. I was her. <laughs> I was her. I was <laughs> if he had treated me better, I'd probably still be her. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Marvin L. Winans, Marvin L. Winans, Marvin L. Winans, Pastor Winans, I remember when he, when he, we got married on a Wednesday. Now you, that's off right there. <laughs> in, lo in love we were, in love we were, and that's the truth. And um, I remember when he quit his job, talking about the Lord told him to quit his job. Boy, you better go somewhere and get you a job. <laughs> You better get your toe that you're going full time, full time. Be all right. <laughs> but he knew what God called him to do. And he is doing what God called him to do now. Now, quitting his job to preach is one thing, but uh, starting a church was a whole other thing. When he told me that, I thought he had truly lost his back. I said, all righty then. I don't want to be part of those start, you, you start no church. I told him straight up from the beginning, I said, I don't want to do that. Why are you doing that? What's up with that? <laughs> Let's bake some cookies or something. Let's do something else. <laughs> but he wanted to, he wanted to, he said the Lord told him to start a church and obviously he was right and I was wrong. <laughs> and hear where the problem started. He started that rascal up in my house. Now, you know, anybody who know me, I'm clean. I am a clean <clears throat> fanatic. I keep a clean house. I love my house clean. And he had our first service in my living room on my white sofa. Mm -mm -mm. First of all, it wasn't but about 
six people there. When we got finished, I said, look, first of all, they was crying. I'm looking all down. I'm like, hey, watch that. Watch, watch my sofa. <laughs> it's mascara. Y'all making mud. Y'all making mud. Come on. <laughs> watch my sofa. I was so, I was so not spiritual. It's a shame. And he was trying his best to get his church jump started. I just was not doing right. When I got done, I told him, I said, look here. We're going to have to go somewhere. Cause first of all, we could have did this what we just did over the phone. <laughs> it's so wonderful to be honest. I was so wrong. I was just wrong. And today, with all jokes aside, I mean, my, I mean I'm really, really full. And um, a few times, I said, God, I, I'm not going to go. I'm not going to go. I might, might, might be embarrassed. I don't want to, you know, you know I just, the devil just be busy talking. <laughs> but tonight, peradventure, I'm supposed to still be here. I, I want to say this. <laughs> I just want to say this, because I want to go to heaven when all this is over. For whatever I've done to disappoint you anyway, I stand before you and ask you to forgive me. For whatever, <clears throat> you know, a lot of times, a lot of times we try to blame things on people, and sometimes it's their fault, sometimes it's not, sometimes it's your fault, and you just can't see. But after a while, it really don't matter whose fault it is, because what happens is you allow the enemy to come in and break up your marriage. But for the days that you've missed me and wanted me here, and for the young girls that saw me as a role model, and then I just dropped off the face of the earth out of your lives. I'm so sorry. Pastor Winans, Peanut, whatever, Bay, whatever I used to call you. <laughs> because all of our days were not bad days. I loved you then, and I love you now. I do. And Marvin Wynams was there, also engaged to be married to another wife of which I believe she must have been in the service. Is it very, very easy to do this? And if it's very easy, how mature you are seeing this? I need you people to appreciate good things like these ones when they happen. Don't just celebrate when we bring you bad reports of other people, of other ministries, of other this. Because we also need to build each other in a way that all of us can find something to learn from another man, right? And we are here today and I am here. My name is Timothy Profitable and this is Blevoy TV. We handle your spirituality, economic and social matters. So go there to the comment section and tell me how do you feel?